Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Catherine Jr. Always wish me a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to start my uh, computer programming tutorial for a BMS engineer. Okay. Now, actually, uh, like a graduate in mechanical engineering or in electrical engineering and other technical courses. Now, especially like me, I was a graduate of mechanical engineering way back 1985. And the computer subjects, I guess we only have maybe one subject in computer. Okay. Now, uh, this tutorial's aim is to give you an idea or to start you with the simple programming, computer programming specifically. So that when you do the control logic programming, you will not find it very difficult because you already understand how you're going to do a simple computer programming. Now, now uh, the engineering tool in a, B, in a building management system, especially the graphics creation, uh, are object oriented, okay? So my plan is to start ABM is engineer, especially those who have no background in computer programming. I will try to start a tutorial in uh, OOP programming, object-oriented programming. Specifically, we're going to use this uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, okay? Then we will use a very simple and easy to follow programming language high level programming language, which is Visual Basic, okay? So I have chosen this uh, language because it is easy to understand, especially for us who have a very, uh, I mean, for those uh, engineering graduates who have a very little uh, exposure when it comes to computer programming, okay? So without further ado, let me share my screen for my visual basic, okay? okay. Now guys, what I have here in my screen is the Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Now, uh, once you run your Visual Basic or your Visual Studio, now I think the latest is Visual Studio 2019 or 2021, something like that. But I prefer to use this old version because uh, when I started my OOP, I, I used this one, okay? Now here, guys, uh, if you are using Microsoft uh, software, you will be familiar with the uh, menus, okay? So let me just start you so we can proceed with a very simple one, okay? Now, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to create a new project, okay? So you can create a new project in different ways. You can create it here, then go to new, then project, okay? Now, you can also click the new project from this part, okay? Now, let's create a new project. Okay, so it will take some time. Okay, now guys, here uh, since this is this IDE, it has several high-level programming languages. Now make sure you are selecting the Visual Basic. Then uh, we will select here a Windows Form application. Okay, now we will go straight with Windows Form application. We will not do console application. So we will go straight with Windows Form application. Okay, just to give you a good head start in computer programming. Now, for the name of your application, you need to change it to whatever application you intend to develop or to program. Okay, now this one is my, okay, my first program. Okay, so this is my first program. Now, we will just say, okay. Now, from here, this IDE, will create for you the application, okay? Now, uh, I will just try to walk you through with the IDE, okay? Now, guys, uh, as you will notice, we will be having several windows here, okay? Now, this big window here is the main window 
where you will see your uh, form design, okay? Then your uh, codes or your VB code, okay? Now we have here, down here is our error list, okay? Now this is very important uh, window because from this window, you will see uh, the error, okay? Now actually the error that will be displayed in this error list is the syntax error, okay? So uh, this right portion is the solution explorer, okay? Now you will see here the application, my first program, that is the one we specified when we try to create a new project. Then what are the objects? Now I have a form one object here, okay? This form one object is this one. Then down here is the uh, solution or the properties, okay? This is the solution uh, explorer. Then down here is the properties. Now, let me just give you an idea about these properties because uh, this uh, programming is uh, object-oriented. So meaning we have objects. We are using objects, okay? This one is an object. Form one is an object, okay? Now, mm, down here, you will see the uh, properties of the object. So I have a form one, so these are the properties. As you can see, we have several properties here. Okay. Just to give you an idea. First, the name of the object. This is form one. Okay. So we can name this, uh, say, say main, or main form. This is my main form because you can have several uh, windows form in your application. But uh, to start with a very simple one, we have uh, our uh, application with only one form. Okay. Now, so I have changed the object name, okay? Then uh, we have uh, several uh, properties here that we can play with, okay? Now, what I will try to do here is to change the text property of the form. Now, by default, the text property is form one. So I will change this to uh, my, 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 what can I say in my first, first program. Program as a BMS. Now, uh, I change the text property of the form, then it will be reflected there. Now, the object can be resized, okay? So let me make my form a little bit bigger, okay? So my first program as a BMS engineer. So the object text property, I change it to, from the default form one, I change it to my first program as a BMS engineer. Okay. Now, uh, so as I said, you can resize your uh, object by default. Visual Basic will uh, add these controls in your form, the minimize, the maximize, and the close board. Okay. So you don't need to worry how you're going to code these uh, controls here. Okay, We can con call these uh, uh, objects as controls. Okay. Now, uh, actually, when you run, so this is the run, okay? So this is the run uh, or start debugging, okay? We can start our program, okay? Just to give you an idea, you have just started your uh, program, okay? So this is my first program here. So this is the output of the program that I'm trying to develop, okay? So it's just a form. It will be displayed when you run it will be displayed okay so you can close you can close it here okay you will go back to your editing window okay now mm, the next thing that we need to do is to try to add more objects or controls in our form now guys if you want the form to be in the middle of the screen so i'm going to show you some uh, changing of the properties. As you can see here, we have here the start position, okay? 
Windows default location. So when you start your application, you can start the form and center it in the screen. Okay, let's see what will be the effect of that one. Okay, now it's in the center. Okay. So these are some of the properties that you can play with as a beginner. Okay. Now there are so many properties here that you can try to play. Okay. So uh, let's just put some objects or control in our uh, form. Okay. Now guys, uh, we have here the view menu. So the, there will be the toolbox. Okay, this is the toolbox where you can get the controls or the objects that you want to put in your form. Okay. Now I have here my toolbox. Okay. By default, guys, uh, these are the uh, default uh, arrangement of my uh, IDE. Okay. So I have here my toolbox. The toolbox you will be able to get the most commonly or most of the object that you need to uh, put in your form so that you can start uh, creating some scenarios in your program okay now here i will say uh, i have here buttons okay so we have your checkbox checklist box combo box and so on okay now let's use this label so how are you going to put a label object or a label control in your form there are several ways, okay? So the first one is you can click, click and drop. Okay, so the label control is already in your form, okay? Now, uh, you can also double click this label. Then it will be automatically uh, added to your form, okay? So I have your label one, label two, okay? So I have two objects here, okay? Now, uh, by default, the name of this object will be label one. And the name of this other label is label two. So by default, Visual Basic will be the one to give the default name of the objects. Okay? Now, when you are developing your application or when you are writing your program, there will be a time that you need to rename the object, okay? So later, I will try to give you an example. When are you going to rename the objects? Okay. Now, this one, the default text property is label one. Okay. Now, we will try to create a very simple one. Uh, actually, when you are starting the program, uh, usually, uh, the very first step is to display the hello world. Okay, that is the typical starting point from doing a computer program. Okay, so let's follow that, that uh, trend or let's follow that uh, concept. Okay, so let me just skip this to control here, but Okay, now I want to change the, I want to change the text property of my form to hello world, okay. So what I'm going to do, there are several ways in doing it, okay. So what I will show you is, I want to start the coding now. So I can double click my form, okay. So there is one event there that is called main form load. So meaning when your form loads, what do you want it to do? Okay, so I will say here, me. So I'm referring to the object itself, uh, text, okay? So I want to change the property text spacebar just to say I want to refer to that property. Then I want to put there, hello. World. Okay. This is my first program as a BMS. Text property is too long. Okay. Now let's see what will be the effect of this one. Okay. So let me start debugging and run my program. As you can see here. 
So let me remember application is programming. You can also resize the form. Hello world, this is my first program as a BMS engineer. Nothing. Let's changing the text property of the form. Now let's go back to the design. Okay. So again, now as you can see here, I will be having several tabs now here. So you can see your design. When you are designing your graphical user interface, then you can go also to the tab where you start your programming. Okay. Now, when you are doing this program, uh, you can ignore what is being uh, offered by default by the Visual Basic or, or by our ID. So your con main concern is what will be the instruction inside the private sub main form load and the end sub. Okay. So later I will try to explain this to you. Okay. Now uh, okay maybe this will be enough for the this uh, introduction. So again to wrap it up again you can create a new project by going in this one, new project, okay? Then uh, what are the windows that will be displayed when you start your application? First, you have the big window here, which is where you will design your graphical user interface and where you will do your coding, okay? Then you have the error list here where your errors or your synth error will be displayed here and some of the warnings, okay? Now, here is the Solution Explorer where you will see the objects that you include or you added in your uh, form. Then you will see also, first you need to select the control or the object, then you can change the properties of that object, okay? So I think this will be the uh, first part of this uh, series of programming tutorial for a BMS engineer. So guys, if you are new to my channel, this is your chance to learn computer programming as a BMS engineer or as a, guy, as a technical guy who is wishing to join this uh, very exciting field of engineering. Again, thank you very much for joining me in this first tutorial in computer programming using object-oriented approach, specifically using um, Visual Studio and Visual Basic. And thank you for joining me. And before I will end, thank you very much. And I always say God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.